Happy Monday, everyone. Here are three things to start your week. In what can only be called huge news, Twitter has doubled its famed 140 character limit this week for most languages, doubling it up to 280 characters. Many see this as a move to please its shrinking user base, although in beta testing, the company noted that only 5% of tweets were longer than 140 characters. The original 140 character limit, which has been in place since the company's 2006 founding, was chosen so that messages fit inside the 160 character limit that text messaging systems of the day had in place. Twitter's also announced that they are halting their system for verifying user identity, which results in the blue check mark on your Twitter account. The system was designed for those in public interest to be verified and thus distinguished from false accounts in their name. Many users see the blue verified badge as a signifier of importance, which raised concerns after the company verified accounts for trolls, white supremacists, and others disseminating hateful speech online. No word on when a new and improved process will be available. Sales of Apple's new iPhone X began this past week, and within three days, the 999 device was pretty much sold out. The new phone kills off the previous version's home button in order to provide a near edge-to-edge -edge screen. Facial identification is used to unlock the phone, and if you're into it, the phone can also animate animal emoji based on the movements it tracks on your face. The phone also has a small notch near the top of the screen to house its true depth camera and facial recognition systems. While many designers have been critical of the notch, it bothered our own Matt Wiener so much that he switched over to a Google Pixel 2. And that's three things to start your week. Be sure to check out MindsetDigital.com for more information about our new social selling habit training. Have a great week, everyone, and as always, good times.